The opioid overdose crisis still continues all across the country, but local pharmacists are taking some extra steps to combat the epidemic in the Brainerd Lakes area. Our Sarah Winkleman joins us live in the Brainerd studio with the details. Sarah? Thanks, Dennis. Now, local pharmacists are working hard to make sure that Narcan is available to the public, starting by educating those who are at high risk and their families about the potentially life-saving drug. Press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. It's five seconds that could save someone from an opioid overdose. We are hoping to provide this education to expand access to naloxone, even to family members or friends that um, may be witnessing an overdose situation. Overdose symptoms typically shallow breathing. Uh, they could be unconscious, laying on the ground. Uh, they, and the other common symptom is the pinpoint pupils. The naloxone comes in two forms, the injection that speaks with instructions and also a nasal spray. It actually gets um, broken down very rapidly and the opioid that might have caused the initial overdose, um, it could last in the patient's, in the person's body for a much longer time. The naloxone is only intended to revive the person until emergency services can arrive. They become conscious, then they go. They, their pain returns. We're kind of like stopping that opioid doing its job to stopping the pain. So their pain will come back depending if it's a chronic pain. Um, they also will have sweating, dizziness, headache, nausea, vomiting. These are not fun symptoms that anybody wants to experience. But it's a measure that can now be taken after local pharmacies have completed education on how to properly inform patients and their families on the Narcan. Our job is to identify patients that would be at high risk for an overdose. By looking at many factors including the medications and the dosage. Uh, typically the prescription strong ones like hydrocodone, oxycodone, morphine and other ones. After just a short time of being able to offer the Narcan on a collaborative practice agreement, the GuidePoint Pharmacy is already putting their education into use. The Crosby GuidePoint has received the education, started identifying patients, talked to those patients, and they've already done um, three prescriptions in the last day. Now the cost of the Narcan is about $80 if you don't have insurance, although it is covered by most insurance companies, and you might want to have it on hand just in case of an emergency. Dennis? All right, thank you very much, Sarah, for the live report from our Brainerd studio tonight. You do not need a prescription for Narcan. All you need to do is talk to your pharmacist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.